Switching gears to the WNBA, it was another record-setting week for Caitlin Clark. She hit a triple-double last week. This week, she had 19 assists, breaking the record for the most in a single game since Courtney Vandersloot in 2020. So with Angel Reese snapping her double-double streak, Clark fans say that Caitlin now has the edge on that Rookie of the Year nod. And of course, the WNBA obviously is at an all-time high. It's being reported now that the league will get $200 million a year, and that is a part of the NBA's recently approved $75 billion media rights deal. But WNBA Executive Director Terry Jackson says they're being severely undervalued by as much as $2 billion over the next 11 years. So Rodney, is the NBA shortchanging the W? Damn, you putting that question in my lap. Is the NBA shortchanging the W? How do I approach this question? Yes and no, okay? If you want a product to grow, then you have to invest, right? But this is an evaluation and this is business. So if we are evaluating your business on its face, it's your job to pump up and amplify your business for the purpose of your evaluation, which is why Again, sorry to double back and triple back on this. It is a huge miss to not put Caitlin Clark in front of fans any and every opportunity that you have because she inflates the value of the business. It just came out today that she is not going to be in the three-point contest. How the hell is Caitlin Clark not going to be in the three-point contest going up against Sabrina Ionescu, who also opted out of the three-point yes. shooting contest? These are misses by the league. We want to see you, and we for sure want to see you doing the one thing that we know you to do, which is shoot the basketball. Um, so the NBA maybe is looking at the WNBA and coming to the conclusion that hey, while the game is growing, while the popularity is growing, they're not necessarily on the right course to drum up the business that they're possible, that they're capable of drumming up because they are not putting their stars at the forefront of their business. The NBA, when they find a star, bro, they ride the star till the wheels fall off. They are going to, they're going to create headlines and storylines, all the above, like internally. And I feel like the WNBA is kind of shied away from, from the impact of Caitlyn and of course, as well as Angel. Okay, so for the three-point competition, you feel like the W should be forcing Sabrina and Caitlyn to compete. Because if they're Hell opting yes. out on their own, you can't no, force I don't, them. You better put it, you better put the carrot in front of them, offer them some money. They like you just you can't like though there's it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make no, any I sense. Agree. Like there's no then what's the what's the what's the hallmark um uh, uh, event of the WNBA All-Star weekend? Right? They can't dunk. So, you know what I mean? Right. Like, it's not that. But the three-point shooting contest, like, being able to see these women fire up shots because they can shoot their ass off. Last year, Sabrina went against, I believe, Steph Curry in the three-point shooting yeah. contest and, yeah. and very nearly won. You know what I mean? So she shot against Steph. So you already know from a marketing standpoint, people are engaged. People want to see you compete at the highest level and doing the one thing that you do well. So why why not? Why? why? Yeah, I would have forced them. I would have forced them. <laughs> no, I do agree. It's a very sticky situation that the NBA is in. However, they got $75 billion. And you're only giving the W 200 mil. Like, you could have given them a year. A year. A year. Okay. But you could have given them at least a billion dollars just based off trajectory alone. Like, you've seen how much the league has grown just this year. Like, it's only going to get better because you can look at the girls that are, or the women that are in college right now. Like, there's one. There's one name. You got Juju and Paige. Come on. Respectfully. Respectfully. Okay. I, I don't think Paige is moving the needle quite like Juju and Caitlyn before. I'm just respectfully. But I, I'm saying a, she has really a big good. following too, though. She has a big following, and I think that she'll bring eyes. Like, and I think that she's getting a lot of black people too, Paige. Cause you think why? Cause she got braids. I'm just saying I don't know how the white girl with braids is translating in middle America. Like, I'm just, I'm saying, like, I'm not I, saying I respect that. it. I'm I appreciate her allyship, but. What I'm I? saying is, is that, that the league is not, it's not going to just be Caitlyn and then it's going to fall off. Like, there are women coming behind her that will continue, I feel like, to push the needle. But obviously, Caitlyn Clark has done so much for the WNBA in just a few months. Yo, the league really is growing. So yesterday, literally yesterday, we were having a debate in our group chat. And one of the guys is like, Yo, Caitlin Clark is the best point guard in the WNBA. 
And he was making a really strong case. He's, I mean, obviously you throw Chelsea into the mix, but if you look at her numbers, Caitlin playing on a far less talented team is putting up better numbers across the board from Chelsea. You know, like what she's doing out there is crazy. Some of these games, she could have 30 assists if her teammates could make layups and open jump shots. I'm just saying there is a case to be made that Caitlin Clark is already the best point guard in the WNBA. And that's not hyperbole. There is a legitimate argument to be made. Okay, well, two things can be true at the same time. Mm -hmm. the, the NBA could give the WNBA more money, and then the WNBA could also do a better job at putting their stars in the forefront. Mm, they, they can. I also feel like maybe um, there should be some WNBA games that open up for NBA games. I think that would be a great way to attract some fan bases as well. Um, and I think more cross-promotion, more cross-marketing between NBA and WNBA players. Shout out to whoever put that Skims campaign together for the WNBA. Oh, my God. I... Was lo I'm locked in for the commercials. I tell you that right now. I'm scared at Skims campaign. Woo! Woo! My God. Okay, well, Miss oh. Jackson, if you are watching this, please add Rodney to your marketing team. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Sign me up for all the Skims shoot. I'm there for the BTS, uh, for the DTF, um, and everything I was in between. Talking about for other things, not the Skims. Oh my I was God. talking about for like hey. the All Star. <laughs> Yeah, y'all let us know your thoughts. Do you <laughs> let us know your thoughts in the comment section? Do you feel like the WNBA is being shortchanged by the NBA and should have been given more money, or are they just doing a poor job of marketing their product?